In climbing, the fall factor is the value which defines the severity of a fall, and in consequence its degree of risk and the consequences for the team on the rope. This theoretical value lies between zero and two in climbing circumstances. The fall factor is calculated by dividing the height of the fall by the length of rope which will hold it. Here are two examples. A. In the first case, the belayer is at point A. The runner is positioned 2.5 meters above him at point B. The leader continues to climb and arrives at point C, positioned 2.5 meters above the running belay. The climber falls. The length of his fall is 2.5 meters plus 2.5 meters, 5 meters. The length of rope in use is 2.5 meters plus 2.5 meters, 5 meters. The fall factor will be 5 meter fall divided by 5 meters of rope in the system at the time of the fall, 1. This is a reasonable fall factor. B. In the second case, the belayer remains at point A, but the highest anchor point B is positioned at the height of the belayer. The climber progresses to point C, positioned 2.5 meters above the anchor point and the belayer. The climber falls. The length of fall is 5 meters, but this time the rope in the system is only 2.5 meters long. The fall factor becomes 5 meters divided by 2.5 meters, 2. This is a critical factor for the climber. Thus, with the same fall distance, we have two completely different fall factors, with radically different effects for the climber and the security chain. At the extreme, we could have a fall factor of 0 0.8, comfortable, with a fall distance of 20 meters, and a fall of factor 2, very dangerous, with a fall distance of just 1 meter.